In this video, I will be using Rufus to create through a scale installation USB drive. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And to create the USB drive, I need to a scale ISO image and also Rufus executable. And I will be downloading both of them here in this video. And for that, I will be using the links that I have here in the GitHub page. So I will click on the first one to download through NAS scale. This brings me to the through NAS download page. In here, I will click on no thank you. And then I will be downloading the stable version. So I'll click on this download button, go back to the GitHub page. And now I will be downloading Rufus. In here, I will be downloading the portable version. So I will be downloading this executable. I will click on it and then I will go to my downloads folder and wait for the files to be downloaded. And now that I have both of the files, I will execute Rufus. Then in this screen, I will click on no because I don't want any updates. Now, first we need to select our USB drive and make sure that you select the correct one because it will be formatted and all of the data on it will be lost. In my case, I will select this one. Next, we need to select our ISO image. So for that, I will click on the select button, go to my downloads folder and then select the true scale ISO image. And that's basically in this screen, we can leave everything else on default. Now we need to click on start. And in this screen, we need to click on write in DD image mode. If we use the recommended one, it will not work. The USB drive will not be able to boot. So after selecting DD image, we can click OK. In here, we can click once again OK. And now we need to wait for the USB drive to be created. And the USB drive was successfully created. Now to see if it works, I will go to my VMware workstation and I will try to boot from the USB drive inside of this virtual machine. So I will connect the USB drive to this virtual machine and for that I will go to VM, Removable Devices, select the USB drive that I want to connect and I will connect it. Now I need to restart the virtual machine and it should boot from the USB drive. So for that, once again, I will go to VM and click on Control alt delete in here. This will restart the virtual machine and it should attempt to boot from the USB drive. And as you can see, it successfully booted into the USB drive. We can click on Start through NAS scale installation and see if that works. And as you can see, now we are in the true NAS installation wizard. That means that the USB drive is working correctly. I will cover true NAS installation in one of my future videos. So like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one.